Hey everyone, I am so excited for this series, this playlist, this part of my channel. I do a lot of tours that people know me on my channel, of vans, you know, professional DIYers, anything in between, as well as tiny houses or anything unique living. But I also do vlogs, I do building of my own, how to live, I travel, all that good stuff. This is gonna be something a little different. This is gonna be a series of a build with a professional van building company out of San Diego called Sandy Vans. This is episode one of however many it takes for us to show everything that we possibly can during the building process. I am so excited to collaborate with them, use my design power and Steven's design and Evan's just engineering brain as well. And Alan, the CEO of the company, so excited to work with all of them. And I can promise you all this, that at the end of this build series, at the end of this collaboration build, this is going to be one of the most unique and crazy looking spec vans that you've ever seen. Now Sandy Vans offers three different layouts and we're gonna go over all of that, but they offer the Social, which is their flagship, which is what they started their company with. They've just started releasing the Scout and soon they're gonna be releasing the Sport version. Steven is actually building the Sport in his personal van. This particular van is going to be the scout during the filming of this we didn't have a name for what it's going to be but i'll tell you what the name of this van is going to be called which is going to be called casper the sandy ghost ghost was what i started my channel with it's always been my name it was an acronym casper because come on casper the friendly ghost everybody so steven actually came up with that casper the sandy ghost you guys do not want to miss any of this build series or collaboration build series, I should call it. It's going to get absolutely crazy when Steven and I will start talking design. Just wait until the episode that we come up with the ceiling. It's going to be the most craziest ceiling lighting design that I think any van has ever done, period, end of story. Without further ado, let's get into episode one right now. Uh, what is up everybody? Uh, I am actually, I don't know if you can see him, I don't think he's in frame right now, but that's Alan. What up dude? What's up guys? Uh, Alan is uh, CEO, big time guy, right here, boom. Sandy Vans, boom. We just had a killer party last night, actually we, I didn't have anything, but Alan and your crew, you had a huge party last night, so thanks for hosting the grand opening for grand your new facility. here in Miramar, so yeah, we just opened a new facility, 11,000 square feet, right in the central San Diego. So uh, yeah, welcome to everyone to, to have a little uh, good night. Today is a very special day because um, Alan, Evan, and Steven Stolt, we have all been chatting about this for, geez, probably about eight months now. Um, that we want to do a collaboration ghost Sandy build. I get to work with Steven and Evan mostly because Alan doesn't like to design. And we get to do a build together. And this is, um, this is the, the start of the collaboration of that. And I have no idea how you guys you know, operate. I have no idea what you guys do in regards to client relations. So we're gonna actually walk through the whole process of that. I think Steven is getting um, some some color books and palettes and what for me, right? Yeah, absolutely. So typically, once we uh, you know lock in a, a, a client, um, I mean, typically Sandy Vans is building for inventory, right? So we have a few different models that will uh, build and put an inventory put in um, you know in the lot for sale. But if we do engage with the customer on the front end, and there's you know 25 different options that uh, the customer can select, uh, as well as you know, different colorways. So yeah, he's grabbing some of the swatches for, you know, cushions, walls, wall panels, and then uh, cabinetry. I think you guys have some choices for me van-wise. I get to pick a van? Yeah, you get to pick a van. We actually just got one delivered this morning, so it's good timing. So we so, have three different options, three different colors. All all-wheel drive, of course. Uh, okay, so we're doing a 144. 144. Oh, do you do 170s? I don't remember. Not yet. Okay. No, that's in the pipeline. Probably in 24, we'll tackle that. Well, for everybody that wants to know this, I actually prefer, me personally, I prefer 144 because they're more nimble. So 144 all-wheel drive, I mean, MSRP on that thing is at least 70. It's a beautiful 
just van in general. So I can't wait to actually go look at the colors. You said you have three out. I haven't seen any of this stuff yet, guys. So I'm gonna wait for Steven and then Steven and I are gonna walk out. All right, very fortunate. Um, Sandy Vans has this new facility and they are still kind of setting up their showroom. However, this is their showroom. This is where they sit down with clients and they get to pick over some stuff. We're gonna get into that in a minute. Um, they also have on display here, it looks like they're outside. Um, what do you call this box, Alan? Boost box. The boost box. Shelf drop them out, uh, so you can put snowboards, skis, anything wet, sandy, snowy goes on the exterior van. Goes on our starboard rack on the rear side. Are we putting one of those on the the go sandy? I don't know what we're calling yeah. this. Yeah, what are we calling? Are we calling it anything? You got a, you got a pun for it, Stolp? Uh, Stolp is great at puns, so maybe we're going to oh, give you a little man, bit of time. You're putting me on the spot. Well, right, right we'll give now. you a little bit of time. We're going to have to come up with a pun by video two. Uh, no, we're going to go. Are we picking a van? Or are we doing that first? Uh, yeah, let's pick a van. Pick so, a van. we got a couple vans in inventory right now. Um, Jared, you got the pick of three of them. I already feel like I know which one you're going to pick, but uh, <laughs> let's go check it out. After oh, you, sir. Oh, yeah. Can I pick the one that's already done? No. <laughs> if you want to buy it. Uh, I'm assuming I've got one, two, three. Right? Yeah, so these three just showed, this one literally just showed up like 15 minutes, minutes yeah. ago yeah um, and then we have this one right here so we got an all-wheel drive they're all all wheels this is a four by four actually it's a old, older one and then we have an all-wheel drive right here as well all right so for people that can't see it on camera it looks like that's a pebble gray that's like stone, a stone gray. stone gray excuse me and what color is this one blue this gray. one a blue gray blue gray that's sexy and then this is Tannerite gray. Tannerite gray? Ta Tannerite. Tannerite gray, okay. I don't know why, but I gotta go dark vibes, man. It's ghosty. It's ghosty. It's, it's, it's a ghosty van. <laughs> it's ghosty. I, I, this is the one that I really thought you were gonna pick, for sure. So we already got a few things already going on in it. So we already have a subfloor in here. Do Windows really? cut in. Uh -huh. And your wires, most of your wires are ran. We'll probably have to run some more for some lighting. Absolutely, but. Uh, oh, you guys have already been killing it on this. Now you were gonna do this build regardless whether or not I pick this van or not. Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of how we do it. We, we get a van and we build it to a certain stage. Um, and then usually a customer comes in or if a customer doesn't come in, we'll just build it to completion and then sell it later. That's the beauty of being a spec van building company. We don't have to wait on anyone. We just kind of keep moving and moving and moving. I, I'm a big uh, advocate of what's behind the walls and I'm liking what I'm seeing already. So um, I appreciate you and your team already. So I just jumped in because whatever, man. <laughs> it's um, your van now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not keeping this guys, by the way. Uh, I believe Sandy's going to be selling this van. Yeah, right? so this is a Sandy Ghost collab. Sandy Ghost collab. It's, the lighting is terrible, but we're going to work on that, guys. Yeah. I apologize. We can go outside and talk about it if you want and just have the van in the background maybe. Yeah. Like the wires in the right places, that's all neat and clean in there. You're using the marine that looks like the anchor wire. Yeah, so we, we try to use uh, high grade stuff on the inside of the walls. Um, that's one thing that people don't see or know about. We could lie about it if, but we, we <laughs> yeah, don't. We don't we, want you uh, to lie about we, it. Uh, we, keep it, we keep it nice. Uh, we don't want any wire issues down the road. We offer warranties on these vehicles and having to tear a whole van out just because you got some chafing on a wire or something like that doesn't sound very interesting to me. We haven't really decided on this yet, but you offer your social floor plan. Yeah, so there's three floor plans with well, Sandy Vans. I was getting to that. You guys are now offering three now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> me personally, I don't like the social one, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about the others. Yeah. The sport. The sport and the scout. scout. So the sport is being prototyped in my personal van currently, so that'll roll out early next year. Okay. And then, well, if I it's going to be it, during this process actually. Yeah. yeah hopefully by yeah. the time we're done with this van, hey, are my you going to be able to get done. your van done by the time we get Ghost Sandy van done? I. This, if you this could pays do my that. bills. That takes from my bills. All so right, fair enough. But if you could do that and we can do a trip together, that would be that amazing. would be really cool. Yeah, just going on a trip in general. Would I be think amazing. it would. I think I think Stolp and Jared both deserve a little vacay. That'd be sweet. Um, you hey, know, my business partners heard it here. Let <laughs> me go on vacation with Jared. That would be rad, man. <laughs> and we'll like. I don't know. I know you're not a big snow guy, so we're gonna stay away from snow. Stay away from the snow. And we'll we'll just take a trip. We're gonna go out. We'll go out camping. 
camping in the desert or something. Man. Some dirt bikes. Some and, dirt bike, dude. I love yeah. it. Like, and you're the dirt bike master, so let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want to go inside and kind of talk more about this? Yeah. Or? So uh, we have a full color swatch book um, for fabric and cabinetry. Um, that's one of the things we offer here at Sandy Vans. We have a couple different color schemes to choose from. Jared, you're gonna get a special custom color scheme. Are we? Whatever you want to pick. Oh boy! Um, normally, we already have pre-planned color schemes for our customers. That gets us, you know, obviously our supply chain a lot smoother. But Jared, just for you, we're gonna get a special one, and you get to pick your cushion color. Our cabinets determine countertops, countertops determine ceiling. Then boom, you cushions. Can we? All that stuff. Can we actually step into that van over here? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Van Halla. Van Halla is what it's called? Van Halla. The reason yeah. I want to show off Van Halla real quick is because Steven and I are both lighting snobs. And this is snobby. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is one of your, you know, just creations that you did. And I think that I think I think you and I are gonna come up with a really cool lighting design. Yeah, definitely. So this I don't want to take full credit for the creation of this. Um a CNC helped me with a lot of yeah, this. Yeah, but it's in it's in your head. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pointing to my head right now, but it's in your head. Yes, but um, we have a great engineer, Evan. He's uh, he's right there, actually. He's right there. <laughs> he's uh, one of my business partners, and he is amazing with CAD. So he's able to, I'm just like, I give him like a rough idea, and he's able to pull from my brain, which is a very difficult place to pull from. Eventually, we're going to have Evan on with us with a 3D rendering of some sort. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have like the ceiling CAD file and stuff to show you before we do all that because the ceiling, um, as I don't know if you guys know, but in the van, the ceiling is the most visible point, it's the, but it's also the most useless point of the van. So that's where you could really use a lot of art and, and decorative features. And that's why I see more and more people doing a lot of stuff to their ceiling. Yes. Because you could do whatever you want and it doesn't affect the space, but when you're outside the van, you're looking up like anywhere so that's why i always choose to make the ceiling look pretty crazy all right so when i was at the party last night and steven and i were kind of starting this brainstorming he was trying to he wants to do something along the lines of my second van ceiling design yeah and i told him i want to one-up that okay yeah so we're gonna have to come up with something that one-ups that somehow mm -hmm. i think the first to do it that way um and then you know, other people have taken that exact ceiling and done the same thing, and then you've done something. Exact that's... ceiling. <laughs> yeah, exact. But it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> I, I've made a video about it so people could take it. Yeah, yeah. But now I want to like I want to push the envelope. I actually did a uh, a van on gutted, um, a season one that you were on season two, but we I, we kind of emulated that ceiling. But I want to even do something even more extravagant mm -hmm. and beautiful with a little bit of like, you know, Jared and Stolt brainchild. And I think that'll make this the van just pop. Yeah, absolutely. I don't I mean, know. So if you have ideas, I wanna I wanna hear about yeah, them. Yeah, you wanna have a child with me apparently. So <laughs> why not, dude? <laughs> You're just the man. This gives you guys an idea of like how a spec van build can actually turn into like a very artistic van as well. It doesn't have to be cookie cutter. It it doesn't look like a robot cut these cabinets, but but it did. But it did. It did. <laughs> it did. And I am We're going to be able to choose to countertops. We're going to be able to choose cushion colors, yeah. wall colors, uh, the cabinets, and again, ceiling. Looks like he actually even offset the the uh, roof fan. Yeah, so this guy, he uh, he's a tall guy, surfer, so he wanted to be able to fit longboards on the roof. So oh, cool. at, at the roof rack, you could have a full longboard up here. Um, well, dude, I'm excited. Um, we're going to cut for now, and then I think Stolp and I are going to go inside and look at these swatches that you speak of. Swatch it. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching episode one. Pick the van. We showed what they're capable of in another van. We started the collaboration and the brain melting between Steven, myself, as well as Evan. And in episode two, stay tuned. We're going to get into uh, picking fabrics, picking colors. And then episode three, I believe we're going to dive more into the ceiling and what the crazy lighting design that we come up with. Um, episode four, five, six, we're going to go over, you know, there's going to be plumbing in there. There's going to be electrical in there. There's going to be 
you know, how they assemble it. There's going to be a lot of different things during this build series, so stay tuned for all that in the weeks to come. Guys, also, we are going to be unveiling Casper the Sandy Ghost at Tiny Fest in Del Mar, California, mid-March. If you want to know the dates of Tiny Fest and where exact location will be, the link will be in the description below to the Tiny Fest website. Again, Casper the Sandy Ghost will be unveiled at Tiny Fest with me, as well as some of the team members from Sandy Vans, Casper the Sandy Ghost will be unveiled officially at Tiny Fest. Stay tuned for all of that. I can't wait for this build series to happen. I can't wait for the unveiling to happen. Guys, it's going to be a crazy two months. Let's go.